Hello, yep, it's the great and glorious Nick Dutch here yet again, still trying my hardest not to swear so I can fulfill YouTube's um, new wonderful soft and fluffy rules and regulations. I mean, part of me is tempted to just do a presentation today about cute, soft, fluffy bunnies, little kittens, and sweet little baby Jesus Christ. But that's not what you want to hear, so I'm just going to do my standard Nick Dutch thing, but just with the... Um, occasional bad word just bleeped out, forgotten about and I'm trying to like really discipline myself because I, I do just typically swear like you know what I really do. Alright now judging by the comments I've received, judging by the um, general feedback I get on a lot of my videos there's a bit of a misunderstanding going on between the individuals who are watching my videos about, let's say, um, the mechanisms of goetic ritual or the mechanisms of talismanic magic or those of astral projection, um, as if the um, as if what the viewers are looking for is a very simplistic how-to, a very um, very basic system of ideas, as if I can just tell you to buy a candle of a certain type and light it and chant a few words over it and that will do it automatically. Well, no, that's the sort of thing you'd see in a rather bad quality astrology magazine. It is a load of rubbish. Uh, I mean, the, the people who are asking this, the people who are making these statements, don't seem to understand the very basics of what is required. If you're about to practice anything of a vaguely supernatural nature, you've got to look at your skills. It's not a question of light candle A, then light candle B, then mutter strange words, and then hey presto you win the state lottery. It isn't like that. You've got to look at how you've prepared your... You know, it is you as your brain, your mind, your body, that is the thing that you're working with. If you're physically ill and can't actually reach certain states of mind, then you're not going to be able to do the things that are required through reaching that state of mind. The occult is not about um, simplistic instructions which you follow and then, hey, presto, you get the lover of your dreams. It does not happen like that. It's about practice, of which the two most basic and most important techniques that you have to master are those of prayer and meditation. If you're not good at getting into the proper prayer for reverent state and holding it for an extended period of time, you're going to be terrible. If you haven't learned about different states of mind in terms of mood, in terms of thoughts and feelings, if you haven't learned to adjust your brainwave frequency and then incorporate that into your practices as well, then you're not going to be able to achieve anything. If you're trying an astral projection or remote viewing exercise, but you have not practiced and you haven't got your head around the concepts, you're not going to do very well. It's, uh, it'll be a bit like trying to become a painter as great as Van Gogh without actually having been to a single class on how to paint. It would be like um, trying to do a join the dots picture but without having any dots to join. The the whole thing about magic and the supernatural and the rest of it is to do with your own ability to control, influence and experience your own mind. That's why you take notes, that's why you take lots of written notes, that's why you reflect back upon past experiences. Because it's you it's slowly and surely expanding your capability and testing your skills with time. Okay, in Crowley's Magic and Theory and Practice, he, he suggested that you test how long you can dance for, how long you can drink for, and make notes of that sort of thing. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that you try and extend the quantity of time that you can drink for, you know, judging by my personal history, it just doesn't seem to do anyone any good. But that is also, a, again, a very basic way of explaining how you should be applying your, your analytical skills. Because your analytical skills um, should, should, can, and must be used when analyzing what's going on inside your own mind, what's going on inside your own body, uh, so that you can break through uh, any misunderstandings as to what can be causing stuff. I mean, if you have a bad cheese dream, it doesn't mean to say the devil was in your bedroom. It means to say you had a bad cheese dream, okay? That's all that there was to it. Despite the fact you may have done a, you may have lit a black candle and muttered some satanic words over it the previous day. 
So yeah, you've got to get to know your body, you've got to get to know your mind, you've got to learn to practice, you've got to learn to how to expand your sense of yourself. It's not just a question of feeling yourself as being in existence in the here and now, in your body, you know, behind your own eyeballs. It's a question of feeling yourself in space, feeling yourself in time, learning to use the emotion of memory to try and remember things that have happened to other people. Um, it's about learning to use the emotion of memory to remember things which haven't happened yet. It's, it, yes, it is a bit of a psychological gymnastics exercise, but that's what it's all about. And it takes time, and you can't sort of like achieve millions and millions of things straight away and overnight. I can't achieve millions and millions of things. There are certain limitations on my skill right now, but that's going to pass with time. As I get to understand more about the, the nature of my own body, the nature of my own mind, the nature of my own brain, how I can use spiritual healing energy, how I can improve my divination skills, and all the rest of it. And that's the same with you. All right? You are someone who is practicing to become a magician. You are, are someone who is practicing to become a diviner. You are someone who is practicing with tarot cards, rune stones, meditation, all the rest of it. It's you working on your skills. You can spend a fortune on books in New Age shops. You really can. And what will happen is you'll have lost a fortune on books in New Age shops. But if you haven't learned more about how you feel the, the change in state of consciousness, how you learn to um, incorporate religious ideas into your practices so that you can learn to feel the, pr the, the almost real presence of God so that you can learn to sense the presence of the spiritual entity which you have actually summoned <coughs> then essentially you know you're gonna fail it's gonna be a waste of your time um, you know, I mean, if you were just to buy one of these books which say this is how you cast spells, you know, you light a candle, m mutter the word abracadabra in a certain way whilst drawing a six-pointed star, um, and then, hey, presto, you're, you know, you're going to get the boyfriend or girlfriend of your dreams, um, you've just wasted your money, you've wasted your time, you've wasted your effort. This is a, a program, so to speak, of growth. This is a, a method of changing the way that you understand yourself, changing the way that you understand um, your presence in the world, changing the way that you recognize yourself as a being existing in space and time. Um, and and that, that happens through a lot of practice. I mean, no, I'm not going to turn around to you and say, this works. I'm going to turn around to you and say that with practice you can change the number of things that you can do. And yeah, my focus is on the supernatural because that's what I'm focusing on. It's not a question of uh, just going on about the culture of this or what one particular ritual practice is because that is cult stuff, all right? That's religion stuff. That's not learning how to be a supernaturalist. That's not learning how to be someone who is trying to be supernatural, trying to act supernaturally or trying to use supernatural things to achieve results. Now, you've got to get that into your head. Please, 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 please think about this, all right? Remember, if, if, if I was just to say, no, you've got to ring a bell a certain number of times, you've got to do this, that, and the other, I will be teaching you a religious practice. But everything that you do has to make sense to your own spiritual, stroke psychological, stroke imaginary world that you feel comfortable with. And yes, you can go through all the books of tradition on spiritual healing, on magic, on religion, and all the rest of it to gain inspiration. But if someone tries to force that stuff into you, they're trying to brainwash you. They're trying to control you. They're trying to turn you into a little puppet. Down, boy, down, boy, down. If, if that's what you want, go for it. Become a fucking robot. See if I care. Sorry, I forget, sorry, forget my bad language. I'm not going back to edit that because I don't edit my videos. You know, what, what I am at this moment is what you get. But realize that, you know, all this supernatural stuff, it, it's not about stick candle A to candle B, ring a bell, or say a certain word, and then hey presto, you're sorted. It's about learning, growth, and progress. Get used to it.